This is a nice opportunity. Um, we're very respectful in the university of everyone's personal preference in terms of their spiritual beliefs. We have this moment on the camera to tell you about our spiritual beliefs. God is the most important thing in our life. Had Delane and I not gone into music, we would have gone into ministry and hopefully right. we would have met down, met down that road. So it was a question of musician or minister, or in my case, magician was in there also. <laughs> <laughs> but music is our ministry. We, we've grown up in the church. You mm -hmm. probably sang much more in church because I can't sing very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were members of a small church and uh, there weren't a whole lot of people that did music. We always had our choir. But what I find that is always a problem is, is finding organists. Oh, good. And yes. uh, I'm sure many of you churches go through the same things. And, and we had a guest artist in one of our classes the other day who his father was a minister. Mm -hmm. And uh, he didn't have a choice. <laughs> Mom said, we don't have an organist. You will learn. At 18, he He's was started. asked to, uh, or he was told, <laughs> to uh, learn the piano so that he could then switched to the organ and he was the, the church organist. He came into our class and he had never seen Piano Wizard before. And he saw Piano Wizard and he was just, his Lit mouth up. dropped open. Mm -hmm. He says, this is what I need. Even to this day, I, I imagine, what is Stevie, maybe not even 30. Maybe 28, maybe. And mm -hmm. so he now, even at that age, after taking these lessons, and he is a fine musician, oh you will see in the, in the videos. But he really wanted it now. Oh, yes. And, <laughs> and Stevie, you know, he's one of those church musicians, gospel musicians. We were all crying. And he That's played beautiful. Amazing Grace. I love Amazing Grace. Mm -hmm. And so the church music experience, remember in the lesson we had with a little carol playing the organ? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're always in church. Well, we don't yeah. have an organist. We don't have a pianist. We don't have a choir director. And then it's great in the summers. The mm -hmm. choir diminishes so much, they round up new people, and the name of the summer choir is Summer Singers, Summer Not. <laughs> But it's not a matter of whether we can all do it well. It's no. just so that we can get a, a, a grasp on it. And when I see people that wish they could always play, mm -hmm. and they sit, some, they sit down with Piano Wizard, and we purposely, we had to, when we were working with the um, curriculum, mm -hmm. we wanted to make sure that we covered every important, important style of music. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, we couldn't cover every style of music, but, but we have a few spirituals in there, yes. and we have church our Baroque hymn. music, some classical, mm -hmm. some church hymns. Um, and then holiday the, music, which is fantastic. Tip yeah, of the iceberg there. Where the kids can come home and play the hymns for the family. You yes. can gather around at Christmas holiday time, songs. and everybody can sing. But uh, the other thing with Piano Wizard is you can put your own things in there, too. You don't have to just stick with our curriculum on that. We've actually uh, seen churches that have put many, many hymns, which are now, many of you are familiar with MIDI files. Wow. All MIDI files can go into Piano mm -hmm. Wizard. And then mm -hmm. for the youngsters or yourselves, the oldsters that are learning, <laughs> this is the neat thing about Piano Wizard. You put your hymn in, and then you can look at the letter names, and you can see how it looks on the grand staff. And you can really learn to read. Mm -hmm. How long had I played? And then in high school, my minister said, oh, you can accompany the choir yeah. and the congregation. And I couldn't sight read maybe three whole notes. And mm -hmm. I learned forgiveness seriously <laughs> under those circumstances in church. And now we can read. Everybody well, can read. And the other thing that's going on with music right now in the church mm -hmm. is you do have your contemporary songs that the kids are hearing on the radio and the kids are maybe buying the CDs for those. But What's happening to the traditional hymns? Yes. We don't hear so much. Many of the churches have gone to strictly contemporary, contemporary worship. worship. Mm -hmm. And so through Piano Wizard, you can put all those hymns in there. Right. And you can learn those traditional hymns. And then the kids, after they start to get a grasp on some improvising and things, they can take the traditional hymns and take them to the piano mm -hmm. or to the organ and put their own heart into them and maybe turn that to a little bit more contemporary style mm -hmm. that, that connects more with them. But uh, there's so much repertoire out there. And if we're only listening to music on Sunday mornings because we're not able to make music by mm -hmm. ourselves, 
We aren't expanding our repertoire a whole lot. You know, in the game when we do Kumbaya, I mean, this is a piece we do in church all the time. And, mm -hmm. and, and one of the things that Piano Wizard is teaching is that fundamental harmony. Mm -hmm. We've played a lot of contemporary music in church. And mm -hmm. if you can understand that, that, you know, your basic harmony. Well, the other thing, too, in church, there's always somebody, could we play it in a different key, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, you say, well, maybe you could join a different church. But, you know, if you... <laughs> If you understand what we're teaching here of one, four, and five, and your different mm -hmm. keys and so forth, then the church music experience can just really blossom with Piano Wizard, you know, and Music Wizard for the children. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that, you see, for Delaine and I, when we're talking Bach and Beethoven, we're talking about the Lord. The, there was a great author, actually, named Jan Chiapuso. He wrote probably the best book on Bach we've ever read, Bach's World, it's out of print. He said, only because of the spiritual faith, the unshaken faith in the spiritual power of music would the world have ever known Bach and Beethoven. We've shared with you the meanings of the tones, those old familiar do, re, mi tones. Well, you've heard us talk about it. Do is short for Dominus, God the Father. Let's just go by once. Dominus, God the Father, T or C, Sidera, the universe, La, Lactia, the Milky Way, Sol, the Sun, Fa, our fate, Me, ourselves, microcosmos, Re, Regina to Goli, another name for the moon, and Do, Dominus. Can we look just a moment? God, the universe, our galaxy, our sun, our fate, ourselves, our moon, and the Lord again. People tend to know Bach as a deeply religious man, a Lutheran man. In fact, Martin Luther said, music has the power to fortify faith and steer the will. But we don't know Beethoven so much. Beethoven is astounding. When Moses was on the mountain and God spoke to Moses through the burning bush, and he talked about, I am that I am, that meant so much to Beethoven. He hand wrote it on a piece of paper, and while Beethoven moved as many as 250 times, he took that paper with him everywhere. He put it under glass on his writing desk. When Beethoven was in the woods for the Seventh Symphony, he said, Lord, you speak through every tree. When Beethoven wrote the Ninth Symphony, he said, my spirit traveled into the universe to hear the voice of the divine. Now, we can't teach this in every lesson, but we have an opportunity to share it with you now. Music is a language of the soul and of the heart and of the spirit. And while we might look in our churches and not see as many people in attendance as we might wish for on that day, if we are teaching music, we are nurturing the soul, the spirit, the heart. This is what the Lord would have us do. The reference to music in the Bible it begins in Genesis and ends in Revelation. So for Delane and I, within this grand project of Piano Wizard and Music Wizard Academy, it's a very spiritual experience, and it's our ministry. So we'd better get to church, eh? <laughs> well, I'm just watching this passion that you have. <laughs> and he really does. He firmly believes in that. Uh, I have to take the other side, too, though, that just to think back to my childhood without having music. As the kids, we would all get together. We had the staple singers. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we would all get together and we would sing. And we sang all sorts of things. But if we didn't have somebody that could play something for us to accompany to, yes. there would have been probably singing with the radio. And then you don't have that feeling of being able to share that gift in church, being able to give something back. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes in many ways, maybe that's not why, maybe that's why we're not filling up our congregations because people, they don't know what they have to give back. When children are working uh, with music and uh, they discipline themselves because when they're working with Piano Wizard, they look up at their score after they get done with maybe the first level and they see, oh, I only got 30%. Well, gee, I can get 100 and so it's not somebody else telling them, well, you've got to do that. They find it within themselves. Mm, and true. they take the initiative to practice it mm -hmm. and to go on with their studies. And I think that's great that 
they themselves, mm -hmm. they don't have somebody coming down on them. I think many times we have people telling us what to do all the time. And when it comes from within, we're more apt to do it. You know, but, Jesus yeah. teaches us to give, mm -hmm. you know, give to one another. You have a gift. and. It, 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 how long does it take to learn things? We've had some <laughs> occasions on uh, Sundays where we're serving breakfast to, to students in our apartment complex. And it, it's a lovely communion. And just the other day we were talking about, you know, Sunday service. And, well, we're, we're doing service. We're providing the food service. Mm -hmm. and, and they would have us serve us, you know. And <laughs> I never thought about a church service as being, hmm, we could serve. <laughs> And this is what you remind me of, because to watch the kids here, oh, yeah. to stand up so proudly, and look what I have to give. Wow, we're living in a world where what can I get? Yeah. And this is what you're yeah. talking about with the yeah. game of, oh, I can play this, I can I improve my score, I have something to give. Yeah. The other thing, and, go ahead. Well, Piano Wizard is easy. And mm. I know me telling you that here maybe doesn't mean anything. But you sit and you try it once yourself, and you'll know. And I, one of my favorite passages in the Bible is, blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. And Perfect. I feel kind of funny using that here, but it's that true. one is one That's that we right. can pull out because I know when people think it's too good to be true, try it, try it once. I love your passage. <laughs> I don't have mine memorized. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I sang that song, too. Well, so. there you, no wonder you remember it. Oh, I like this. It finishes in Matthew, and it starts uh, somewhere else. Seek in every way to become childlike. Seek, 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 until you find, until the years have added to your nature, that of a trusting child. Not only for its simple trust must we copy the child's spirit to have faith, but its joy in life, its ready laughter, its lack of criticism, its desire to share all with all men. I think the children are teaching us. <laughs> and then, except ye become as little children, ye shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time. We have faith in what we haven't yet believed, but we're going to let the children lead us to Piano Wizard. That's where it's going to happen. <laughs>